Just when the critics thought it was going to be a cold boy summer after the untimely passing of Kevin Samuels, we see the likes of Andrew Tate and Austin Holloman come into the mix. Who are these random guys? I could have sworn these guys last year were in the comment section of some of these red pill or game or pickup channels or dating coach channels. Now these guys are basically speaking out against the system. Well, actually, Holloman specifically speaking out against the system. Austin Tate, he's just, uh, I mean, um, was it Andrew Tate, he's just, I guess, a new name in the face of it. But he's not really against the traveling sector, to be fair. So we're going to focus in more on Austin Holloman, specifically on what he's talking about when it comes to black men, or men of all races, I should say. So going where you're celebrating, not tolerating Specifically, going overseas. Which, granted, it's not the newest thing in the world. It's not the newest thing. But, nonetheless, it's a breath of fresh air seeing individuals who look like an Austin Holloman saying the same thing. Because now, it used to be the case that the argument was that, well, look, man, uh, you, uh, you want to just... And, this is going to go to the video's main point, which I want to address here, on why these dating coaches are waging war against the passport bros. Which, as I said, personally me, I'm not against passport bros specifically, but just some of these guys need to move in a manner that shows more, how should I say, a better reputation towards brothers. Because we're getting enough of these Captain Charisma boys overseas. We all know what kinds of guy they are. There's actually a term called Captain Charisma if you want to look it up to see um, what I'm talking about and to have a face painted to it, like a picture painted to it. But we have a bunch of these Captain Charisma boys rooting on BMs, acting like baby's kids in order to make it easier for them. And I'm not going to have that. I'm just going to say that right there. I'm not going to get outshined by some Captain Charisma bloke, or not even bloke, some dozier, because what? Some baby's kids before me came here and was playing Passport Pookie. Was playing, uh, acting like you were from, anyway. But individuals like Austin Hallman now put a face on, and I will call him Pass Pro, Pro, Pro Bro specifically, but I will say that he does counter a lot of the stereotypes that a lot of the critics have had for Passport Bros. That a lot of them are uh, dusty, a lot of them are uh, old or disheveled or lame. They couldn't cut it with scissors. They didn't have to swag. All right. Well, you're looking at Austin Holloman. In any other time before the super, how to say, the, the super, how's, there's a word for it. Basically, now more than ever, you have daggles, you have strags, or even some women in the States who are now demanding an all-time low. Basically, they're just lowering the standards. And by lowering the standards, I mean they're just demanding more savagery from the men. Whereas 20 years ago, Austin Hallman would have been fine in the States. Even 10 years ago, he would have been all right. He'd have had to pull some game. He had to rent the game. Well, I'm going to talk about game in a minute. But now, he's struggling? Or he's having issues? Or he's saying that overseas is better? Ho, ho, ho. Now people are starting to wake up. Now people are starting to realize, oh wait, it is rigged. Which leads to my main argument of the passport bros and why they are getting attacked by the dating coaches. The PUA frauds term dating coaches. Not all of them are doing this, thankfully. And we all the legit ones aren't doing this. But the ones who have an interest, and, and we all know the reason why. The ones who have an interest in keeping men struggling in the States, they're the main ones who are talking about, well, passport bros weak, passport bros are lame, passport bros can't get any, they just need to uh, listen to what I got to say and pay my 500 consultation fee and my uh, $5,000 course. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait. You, you want me to... Uh, show receipts? Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, Alright, well, we in such and such town, we, we're going to holler into Snow Bunnies tonight. We're going to Snow Bunnies. Uh, hey, hey, we're going to put Snow Bunnies. Uh, we're holler, we're holler, holler, holler. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? 
Hey man, I like your stuff, man. I like your stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We go, we go, we go, we go run these, run these bras to the ground. Run these bras. I know, man. Uh, you say that, man. Why well, can't say that anymore, man? Uh, you know, YouTube done changed. World done changed. Uh, you know, your audience changes. Seasons changes. Presidents change. Your draws change. You gotta change the draws. You change the draws, right? You, you got these guys, or you got other guys who basically are just. Use car salesmen to a T when it comes to their advertisement of like, I mean, sell you game, man. You need to know the game. It's all about the game and how you make it, man. I don't get sued for saying that, right? Well, good. You, you got to pay my consultation fee. You got to pay my, uh, my travel fee. You got to pay my hotel fee. You got to pay my, hey, you got to pay my gas fee if you want me to, Give you a one-on-one -on -one consultation fee. You, you got to pay all that, man. You got to pay all that. Oh, what? Look, I, hey, look, I know all the game. Even, even though my wife's getting game now, but I still know all the game. And we won't even get to guys who are making you pay upwards of $1,000 for IG game. Your IG game, bro. IG game. You look, you, you got to get like... Ten, all right, nothing, it isn't nothing you pay for our thousand dollar seminar. Now you gotta pay another thousand dollars in clothing, and another five thousand dollars in camera equipment, and another five hundred dollars for the for a guy who's a pro. He's an MLG pro. He, he he's a three a.m. tryhard pro who, who's got to take your shots, and, and you got to do like a thousand of them in one day. And, and out of a thousand of them, you need to. Uh, Bro, these guys are running. <laughs> Especially in the second example on if you want you to pay my consultation, you got to pay for my treat, man. What does that sound like to you? That sounds like thoughts. They sound like thoughts. They sound like modern women, right? The same modern women everyone's complaining about, right? Same ones, right? Leading to this conclusion, that these game guys, these PUA pickup sticks guys, they want you to trick on them. You can't trick overseas. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't trick overseas because I'm the one who needs to be tricked on so that I can tell you tactics that in any other reasonable place you would have learned by the time you were in high school. You would have had friends who would have done that. You would have had, or the tactics that you were given would have worked. But they don't because of the ever-decreasing standards of the modern women, right? And not to confuse all women with modern women, that's not the case. Most of those who aren't modern women are already taken, but we all know that. Nonetheless, it's frustrating. I, I get it. The dating coaches are basically just running out of ideas. And they're they're running the schemes running out the schemes running out the alpha games running out I mean to be an alpha back in even the 2000s you had to thug larping was enough you didn't have to be a criminal you didn't have to be T rash you can just have the body of a thug or a T rash and you just 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 look like one of those generic just do that 50 cent pose with the whatever or just do. Just, just run on the beach like it's a 90s. Yeah, like, that should be back in the 90s and 80s. All you needed was just to work out and just go to the gym. And no game needed, right? No game needed. Nope. Oh, let's not talk about the 50s and 60s where game was just being a man. Game was all, all game was in the 50s and 60s or beforehand was having the J, an O, and a B. Or just having a job, a car. Or get mode transit, or you live in, or, or just having your own place. There you go. All you need. That was game. That was game. But now game's all this other stuff where, hmm, I wonder if game's being used to distract men from wasting their time from actually doing stuff to make them economically better. That's a fifth dimension talk. We can't talk about the fifth dimension. We cannot. We can't do that anyway. In the meantime, let's, let's stick to being back on Earth and talk about the stuff that's safe. Speaking of game, these dating, these dating coaches, right? Right? These guys, 
are given passport bros all this grief on going overseas. Whereas we all know that the passport bro moniker is usually associated with predominant with mostly black men. Now, I'm going to say this at the risk of alienating my audience. If these guys, actually it's not going to alienate, it's going to be the truth. If these guys were non-black, would these dating coaches go and harden the paint as much when it comes to telling these guys to not go overseas or to shame these guys on not getting any? Huh? They see, they try the mechanism they're calling out all men, regardless, but let's just be honest. Passport bros, passport bros don't get any. Passport bros need the trick. Sorry, they aren't tricking on you. Passport bros uh, get dirty foot broads. Passport bros need to do this. Passport, but if passport bros were mostly Chads, Enriques, and uh, Sasuke's. Would you talk about passport bros like that? Huh? Granted, yes, if a bunch of non-black dudes came up talking about passport gang and all this other kind of stuff, it wouldn't be new because a lot of them have been doing it for the longest time. But nonetheless, we need to answer that question as well. Also, alongside that, these and we all know these get these uh, passport guys, these game guys. Not only do they want you to buy half-assed products, but they want you to basically be in places where the women have the biggest bitch seal on the planet Earth. I mean, look at where these guys are located or where they do their little podcast, right? They do it in places like Miami or L.A. or Atlanta. You're going to catch these game guys doing podcasts in freaking in Fargo, North Dakota. You don't even catch these game guys doing podcasts and freaking uh, name me a place, Houston, well, yeah, Houston, Texas. You don't you don't even catch these guys doing a podcast. Hell, in places that women are actually more enjoyable than average, in places like Las Vegas or Honolulu or Phoenix, there's a reason why. It's because they want you to go after the worst product, the worst grade, these the daggles, the strags of any race so that they can keep you as a customer. They definitely won't do it overseas and we all know why. We all know why. Uh, they can't lose your customer base, right? But they can't let you, they can't have you stop tricking on them so that you can start tricking on other women or just tricking them wherever. And you know what? A lot of these guys, the other guys will tell me, well, you know what? No, no poons for free. No poons for free. You know that, right? Well, first of all, says the beta males. Second, I'll concede that no poons for free because I pay for a gym membership. There you go. That, that's the reason why no poons for free. You can, you're paying it one way or the other. And I like the way I pay for it rather than the other way of just paying directly. And that's no shot to guys who pay for it directly. But let's just say this. Guys, you're not, you're not special if you pay for it. Don't act like you're the man that you could pay for it. Please have more tact about it. That's all I ask, particularly from the password pros. Who cares what I pay for? Who cares? I don't care. Honestly, do not care. I'd rather you just be, just handle yourself like a man. Just do it. Just, just do it. Get over it. And don't brag about it. Don't act like you're... And also, and the other guys who bring up the point of, well, if you're paying for an overseas, then what's the point? Obviously, the women were submissive and cooperative and blah, 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 to the point where you didn't have to pay for it. And that's a damn good point. Which leads me, which makes me look to the non-tricking passport bros on saying, well, these guys do have receipts. I'm not going to say, where are your receipts? These guys do have receipts, to be fair. And to be honest, I'd even consider some of these guys part of the... Um, the goof troop squad, the way they roll. But that's just me personally. Forget what I have to say. I'm just I'm like, it, it's like two cents. Everyone has one. It's like an opinion. Everybody has one. But nonetheless, I do support men and especially brothers who are in a place where their existence is basically demonized. Their, well, their peaceful existence is demonized. Where it runs on your demonization, discrediting, and destruction for you to leave. I'm all for that. 
And do not let anyone or anything or any entity either shame you, conjole you, or just try to sell you from or prevent you from leaving. Because that's what a lot of these dating coaches have been doing. They've been trying to do that. Some of the more genuine ones are cool. But the one, the PUA salesman ones, who want you to run a game and do all this code approach stuff, which we all know is ineffective, especially the way these PUA guys sell it as. Yeah, it's a crock. It's it's a ruse. It's a tactic. It's just, we all know what time it is. There are places where you go where your SMV will easily shoot up. And trust me, it's the only thing that's really preventing it are the passport pookies and babies kids who act up overseas, a, a.k.a. Sosua, which is why I'm against certain bros from going overseas. That's the one mistake when I have when it comes to the travel bros. You can't not include everyone. You have to filter out who you're talking to and who you're selling on places like Colombia or DR or Brazil, or Thailand, wherever. You can't have everyone just going willy-nilly, especially brothers these days, how a lot of them think that maggle mindset, with that baby kid, matriarchal, gynocratic mindset. You can't have that. Some of these guys, and especially since they're so-called winning, oh, I'm, I'm winning, I'm winning, baby kid. Okay, I'll stay your ass in the States then. But for those who are productive BMs and are still struggling, those are the ones we need to have get out. Those are the ones we need to have make money overseas, beat digital nomads those are the ones we need to give the one mp initiative to sell the one mp initiative to shout out the one matches teacher but yeah don't let anyone don't let strag don't let a dagger don't, don't let these hardcore feminists don't let your mama don't let these failed cool guys from the from a bygone era or and don't let dating coaches especially random ass dating coaches who we're trying to get your money anyway. We're trying to get you to trick on them. Don't let them shame you from traveling. Just operate yourself in a way that doesn't get these Captain Charisma boys saying, "Hey, look at him. Look at him. You know, you why are you want to deal with him? He's all destructive and he's le he's leaving a trail of violence and loudness and um, cars that go boom, 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 boom. You don't want that. You, and and, and Single mothers behind you want to get me. me. You want to get me. Don't give those guys the power of them either. Move overseas in a way that gives a good reputation to brothers, especially those who follow behind you. Everyone else always bet on X.